Welcome aboard! If you are watching this video, you probably have just been accepted into the Visual Communication Design major by the Faculty of Art and Design of Indonesia, University of Education. We are fully aware that you have gone through a tight selection just to be a part of our family. With that being said, let me just say, congratulations! In this Well of Copyright Issues video, you will be briefed concerning how you will undergo the learning process during your study here in Indonesia, University of Education. The Visual Communication Design major was founded many years ago. <laughs> Just kidding, it was founded a year ago. The Visual Communication Design major, or commonly referred to as DKV, or in this case VCD, was founded in 2018. Yes, you heard me right, we are only a year old, hence we yet have any accreditation, but hey, everything big starts with something small, doesn't it? Here in this academic establishment, we strive to create high quality designers. We train them to explore deep into the depth of their creativity by forcing them to tinker with their, um, unique minds. True, we are not as bright as scientists, but we are not dumb. Let's just say we are, um, what's the word? Oh, right, eccentric. And before we begin, let me introduce you one of our top-notch students.
like all major in this university, this major requires you to make a study planning. Unfortunately, we are not going to go deeper in this matter, so you'll need to seek this particular tutorial elsewhere. Suffice to say, after you submit your study planning, all that left to do is to wait for a confirmation from your teacher. It might take days, so just be patient. Now this is the department. This is where all the elder or I mean the teacher usually stick around. At some point, you might enter this room with unorthodox music playing which is nice. This place also keeps utilities which you might need in the future. Projector, papers, audio speaker, you name it, they have it. You can borrow them and in return you give them something as a guarantee, like your soul maybe. When it comes to learning, you can pretty much distinguish the subjects into two varieties, theory and trial. Theory, as you can guess, will be filled with discussion and listening. Take aesthetic for instance. In this subject, you will learn to sharpen your abilities in assessment. You will need to be able to perceive any work of art and describe them based on aesthetic elements. Imagine the boredom. Then again, theory subjects are not always that boring, you know. You see, there's a gentleman by the name of Mr. Wadley Hariana who will probably teach you in design history and graphic technologies. Mr. Wadley loves to tell stories, crack mild adult jokes and give pop quizzes. If you answer correctly and if you're lucky enough, you might be rewarded with handsome prizes. You know, money. Or at least a virgin will do just fine. I mean seriously, he really loves to give appreciation no matter how small it is. A truly rare value if you ask me. Now here's the real deal. Trial subjects, as the name suggests, will involve you more in the subjects. Not only will you sit, listen, fall asleep and discuss, you will also do. Hence trial subjects. Let's start with construction illustration. Here you will draw a lot of lines straight and curve and usually with symmetrical aspect. Here we see a design student working on a construction illustration. Hey, psst! Why don't you show us what you're drawing? My, my, would you look at that? It quite resembles number 8, or a race lane, or something in between. Well, keep up the good work, lad. Here's another one. Form illustration is where you will draw your favorite mundane objects, from the edible ones to usable ones to the weird or I mean random ones, be it kitchen appliances, your favorite fruits, your vehicular ostentatiousness, etc. If you think those two already challenging, then you haven't seen anything. What I'm about to show you next may cause a severe headache, so prepare yourself. Yes, you've guessed correctly. Nirmana, aka every art student's nightmare, the number one stress causing stamina draining energy killing subject. Not only will kill your body, but also your mind, especially your mind. Nirmana comes in two versions, the first one is two dimensions and the other one is three dimensions. Nirmana is about filling spaces in random methods and certain compositions and comes in various shapes and forms. Ah, uh, okay. It's weird if I say it comes in various shapes and forms because Nirmana itself, according to the experts, should be formless, which doesn't make any sense to me at least. Does it have to make sense? I don't know. What am I saying? I skipped Nirmana classes in previous semesters. Yes, I'll admit, I'm a big time loser. <sighs> Just remember, at first you might get confused. But as you progress afterward, you might still get confused. I'm sorry. Design, you could say, is a hunger-inducing work. In order for your brain to work properly, make sure you feed yourself with highly nutritious meal. I say highly nutritious. What? 
Well, yes, but what I really meant is uh, affordable. After that, make sure you conduct enough exercises. Sure, you're not sports students, but there's no harm in keeping your body in shape, right? Just don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, don't. And finally, avoid yourself from having sleep deprivation. Okay, enough of the dallying, let's move on. The world of art has gone through a long and gradual change over time, especially drawing. In the old days, artists used to draw with brush and paint on a canvas. Uh, well, actually, they still do. Then again, as the technology develops, drawing can be done much easier and faster. Now, there's this thing called pen tablet or something that enables you to draw pictures on computer with certain software. And lucky for you, here in this university, we provide you with the best computer laboratory ready to be used. Some of you might just unable to sit down for a really long time. You feel like you need to go out, see the surroundings, and making art all in the same time. This is when photography comes in. Photography is about capturing images through the eyes and lenses at moment's notice, ranging from nature photography, portrait photography, street photography, and so on. A good photographer is not defined by their equipment, but by their skill and experience, says an amateur. Some say photography is a shortcut to drawing, but I say that's just too harsh. Photography is not as easy as pressing button, you know. Photography, like drawing, requires strong patience and certain techniques. Here in this campus, we facilitate you with this grand photo studio, complete with all photography equipment you need. This is my personal favorite subject, by the way. Just saying. Hello, what's this? Two guys alone in a park? Are they? Oh shoot, never mind. Apparently, they are not what you and I thought they are. Turns out this is a scene being shot. Yes, this is videography. This is for you who might got tired of just seeing static pictures and then you desire for more dynamic images. And by dynamic, I mean literally moving complete with dialogues and perhaps a little bit of music. Then videography might just be the answer for you. Most people apply videography merely for meaningless purposes, mess around just to get attention, talking about social climbing, but oh no not you, I hope. To you, videography is not something to be playing with, you bring videography up to entirely new level. Well, if you want to make something ridiculous, at least give it a little touch of art, won't you? And so here we be, here we finally must apart. We hope this quick guidance helps you start adapting in this environment and getting used to this life and path you've set upon yourselves. We humbly apologize for any errors, lack of content, and to any possible offended parties. End of words, we wholeheartedly welcome you to the family, and good luck.